I need a word with you, Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion at Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay, let's move out. So, tell me again about this big can't-go-wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Eat should work. Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. 
takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Well, I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that? And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. You did well with that gang at Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. Not through lack of trying? Nah, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell. Well, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. Reckon we'll skip the saloon this time, kid. <laughs> no doubt. A night to forget. Yeah, next time I'll know what you mean by a couple of drinks. <laughs> whiskey's got me in more trouble than a pistol ever has. What's that about whiskey? Uh, <laughs> keep going, Miss Jones. So, go through the plan again. Karen's going first, put on a bit of a show. Then we'll move in once they're off guard. Okay. We'll see if she can match your preacher performance at Shady Bell. Coming past. After you. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. That'll have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. I tried them. In front of you. Good morning. Who's this then? <laughs> okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Oh, oh. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. <laughs> now, where is he? 
If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Think you should leave, madam. I'm not leaving. Okay, we're going. No, nah, hold on. Wait till madam. she's gotten real dead. Who are you? Don't act like you don't know me. I'm stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, hands go. up. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. No word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here. Unlock the door. Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, you think we're here? Come on! Come on! Yeah! Open the goddamn vault! Open it! Too goddamn slow! No! How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Shut up, a bitch. Hurry up. Come on. Okay. Shut up, bitch. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. I'll keep a lookout at the door. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Last one. Good. We gotta move.
Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> uh, well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Think you's the same age as them silly girls. Oh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. If I was five years younger, or oh, a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. <laughs> and that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under that sour vinegar face, nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a rose's thorns. <laughs> You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, no, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. <laughs> oh, there's something about that woman. Sweet and sour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah. 
Sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Oh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. Lovely as always, Miss O'Shea. Hi there. Hello. Arthur? I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Mr. Morgan. Ah, oh, Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store, and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. Oh, Driscoll. Eve. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, well, good. Just keep your head down. Well, good talking to you. Gentlemen, mind if I warm myself a minute? I'm getting too old for this. Living in tents, on the run. By my age, I thought I'd be living on some farm somewhere, having some serving girl feed me freshly peeled grapes and another and massage on my feet. Funny how things turn out. Said I'm stuck in the wilderness with you degenerates trying to stay warm. Still, guess all that luxury run me to fat, and there ain't no getting fat out here. Now my old hat Grinshaw eats triple rations. Enjoy yourselves. I gotta get on. Miss Roberts. Oh, hi, Arthur. So lovely. <laughs> Hi, hey. Karen. And gently to her, I did say, Hey, you won't let me ride your ring dang do? <laughs> she pulled up her garment so scared it would so high out with Hi, a Arthur. phoenix went boring. Why have you got a guilty I look? I hadn't been boring six inches or more till it all from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up, smiled, and said, bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got the fire in some ways. <laughs>
whiskey over some potent whiskey. Like the waves of the bay of the biscuit, I began to tumble and roar. My face was as red as a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. My watch was picked from my fobster. I'll never get drunk no more. I'm resolved to try it. I'll stick to a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And shun the alehouse door. For that's where they tell us it's all the jolly good fellas. But I swear the poker and bella. You goddamn degenerate. You talk that way to a man of the cloth? You're repulsive. What are you trying to prove? Even you know it. How about I ignore you, huh? You all right, girl? Welcome back. So, what are you in the market for? A terrible thing what happened at the parlor house. No surprise the Braithwaite's were behind it.
Okay, now let me see. Chose well. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Had to have it, eh? Hey, you know, that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. All right. Weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. Good. I'd keep away from the butcher's sausage. There's a reason he keeps the price so low. I've heard some unsavory things about that salesman, Virgil Fish or something. And the Yankee sympathizing is the least of it. I carry only quality goods here. And that should be good. Okay, this should be good. Okay. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. Mr. Ballard across the way there is doing a roaring trade all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe I ought to move. Howdy, partner. See that statue outside? The one to fallen soldiers? 
Old Major Crawley put it up. He sometimes pops in here, you know. Well, that was fun. Thank you. Really. Okay, boy. Come on, come on. Read all about it. Hello, mister. Howdy, sir. Gentlemen. Hello. Line well, up, hello. Rhodes. Get your paper. Yep, that's the word in town. All right. Extra, extra. All the newsworthy news in one paper. Well, fine then. 